Okay, gang, back today with a response to a tag that I got from our friend Michael. He's a fella for my generation. That's Michael, the comic crypt of Castle Hills. Anyway, he tagged me to show the books that I would most like to have slabbed. Now, I am a bit out of my element in this video. I've never even seen a slabbed book in the flesh. Um, and I have no desire to slab any of my books. But it's worth noting that beginning in the probably the early to mid 80s, I began my own version of uh, slabbing. And that was I would choose, uh, you know, the best 9698 copies off the rack, put them immediately into Mylar. And I haven't touched them ever since for 30 or 30 plus years. That's Dr. Von Chilla's version of CGC. And I have long called it DVC. Nonetheless, uh, my criteria for this video was just pulling out my uber favorite books in ultra high grade. Everything you're going to see here is at least a 9.4. Most are 9.6 and 9.8s. With one exception, but I'll talk about that shortly. Uh, my collection isn't even remotely as expansive as it used to be. I've sold over 7,000 books. And uh, I've only got uh, maybe eight or nine hundred left. And you've probably already seen all of these books in past videos, but nonetheless, what you're going to see here are beautiful, super high grade beauties. Excuse me. Too much coffee, and if I were going to slab some books, these would be the ones. This is a book that uh, ETA Nick sent to me recently. He sent me two copies of it, actually. Uh, copies that he had graded 9.8, and the other was a 9.6. This is the 9.6. Tarzan, what's the number? 225. I like this one better because it has better centering than Nick's 9.8. Here's a stunner. A stunner, a stunner. Joe Koch Warehouse copy that I purchased in the late 80s of the very first chapter of the very first Black Panther solo series. This is Jungle Action number six. This is a true 9.8. 9.8, it has no flaw whatsoever. And I mean none. This is an act, actually an act, uh, a great example of my DVC from back in the 80s. Now, I did just recently re-bag re it, re-mylar it. But nonetheless, it's the kind of thing that I got it in the late 80s, slid it right into mylar, and it's remained untouched all these years. Now, the other thing I want to point out is I know everyone is all hot and bothered about Jungle Action number five as the very first 
solo Black Panther story. No, my friends. No. Jungle Action number 5 is a reprint of Avengers number 62. Now, as awesome and classic as that book is, it is a reprint of Avengers 62. Jungle Action number 6. This is the one that begins the first story of, uh, first solo story of the Black Panther. Make no mistake. Anyway, enough raving about that. Here's one that you rarely see in high grade. This is the best copy of Shield number four that I've ever been able to acquire and in 40 plus years of collecting. It's uh, certainly, certainly at least a 9.4. And depending on uh, the greater at CGC, depending on their hangover from the night before, they might even give it a 9.6. But this is a 9.6 for sure. Joe Koch Warehouse copy of Shadow Number One. Stunning, 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 incredible copy. As fresh and as beautiful as anything you will find on the stands today. As is this. Call Number Eleven. One of my uber favorite Bronze Age books. Right up there with Conan 24 and Batman 251. Make no mistake. Here is the exception to the 949698. But this is uh, my Best Joe Koch warehouse copy of Swamp Thing number one. There you go. But even as it is, uh, I would certainly give it a, uh, a solid uh, 9.0. And uh, I, I tend to uh, undergrade. So, again, based on the uh, slabber's hangover, it might even get a 9.2. Now, this little number. Good God almighty. This is one of the sharpest, most beautiful... Bronze Age books that I own. This is the best of the Koch Warehouse copies of Swamp Thing number three that I received. This is no doubt a 9.8 by anybody's measure. I have gone over this thing with a magnifying glass and uh, there is not one Iota, not one millimeter of chip, tick, th it, it doesn't get any better than this, my friends. One of the most stunning books in my collection. That's, that's just the way it is. Oh, my beloved Conan 28. The best copy I have. I still have about four or five of these. This is the best one I have. Absolute stunning killer near mint. I bought it off the rack as a child, not this one, but an uber, uber beloved uh, book in ultra 
ultra, ultra high grade. Stunning stuff. Yes. The last issue of Charlton's Phantom series. Another Belu uh, beloved, uh, beloved uh, Uber classic book. I bought this off the rack too. I still have my off the rack copy upstairs. This is a stunning near mint. Stunning near mint that I bought from the comic buyer's guide uh, back in the early 90s anyway. Absolute stunner. Oh my goodness. Uh, possibly my very, very, very favorite issue of Captain America ever of all time. Another one I bought off the rack as a child. This is the best copy I've ever been able to round up. And it is an absolute stunner. Ugh. An absolute stunner. That that is a nine four nine six. I mean, absolutely yes. Just a few more. Daredevil one eighty two. You can ask my friend Tom. He and I drove around for a couple of weeks, and I was buying up every copy of this book I could find from every drugstore, 7-Eleven, grocery store, or whatever. One of my all-time favorite comic books. And this is a, is a, probably a 9-8. You know, I've got a couple of them. Uh couple of nine sixes and a couple of nine eights and I think that's one of the nine eights here's my favorite comic book of all time I've owned about 25 or 28 copies of this over 40 plus years this is the best one I've ever ever been able to snag beautiful beautiful thing um, I personally it is so it's so flawless I, I, I would call it a 9.8 it, it's just so perfect and so flawless it, it's just perfect it is perfect and that's just the way we roll this book is going nowhere so if you take my entire collection away and leave me with one book, this is the exact book and the exact copy. This is going nowhere in my world. Just a couple of more. The best, best copy of Demon Number 1 I was able to score. This is probably a 9.6. Maybe a 9.8. I don't know. I'm thinking more nine six, really. But uh, back back in the day when you could buy copies of that high grade copies of that for two or three dollars, I must have bought about ten of them really throughout the eighties and nineties. Uh, anyway, two more here. Anyone who knows me knows that this is one of my very, very favorite comics of all time. Along with Thor 207, I bet I've gone through about 25 copies of this in my day. This is, uh, I think, the best one I've been able to score. And... It is indeed another one that I've gone over with a magnifying glass and it has no flaws. And not to mention that it's perfectly centered. Snow White Pages, Creatures on the Loose, number 16. Don't even think you're going to get this book from me. Ha! <laughs> 
And finally, my off the rack Saga of the Swamp thing number 29. Superb, unopened, 9.8 magnificence. That's the way we roll around here. Anyway, that's just a, a stack of stuff to answer the Comic Crypt of Castle Hills tag. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. Um, who can I tag? Uh, Reaper Tate 728. We'll tag you, buddy. I don't know who's been tagged in this thing and who has not. So uh, if you've already been tagged, you know, it's all well and good. Reaper Tate 728. Wicca Comics. There's there's another man. Yeah, I like to give some uh, attention to uh, you know some of the uh, newer uh, folks in our community. Wicca Comics, my man. Bring it on. Show what you got. Um, and my go-to guy every time. And that's a uh, solid four-string bottom end. That is Shannon. My brother from another womb. Shannon, there you go. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stack. It was nice for me to, to be able to roll through them again and appreciate their true magnificence but I will not ever be slabbing any of them anyway thanks for watching talk to you soon bye bye